Akagawa Jiro no Yurei Resha. I've never heard of this game and I've never played it before, so um, let's give it a shot. <clears throat> Um, right off the bat, the graphics are pretty good for NES. This is a, you know, Japan created everything back in the day. But these, uh, these images are kind of pushing the 8-bit to the, oh, of course, I can't read any of that. I took Japanese in high school and, um, I don't, I, I don't remember any, anything really. I think that... Ta, coal, but I, I can't read it. And then you get numbers in there. It's just way too hard. You have the kanjis and the um, and whatnot. There's like diff there's three different alphabets you have to learn. So almost it's next to impossible if you don't do it every day. Okay, I'm gonna skip this because I don't know what they're saying. Alright, so we'll just play through a little bit here. If this is like a selection game, I'm gonna be out of luck because I don't speak <laughs> Japanese. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna give it a few more minutes, and if if I can't figure out um, what to do, I'm going to give up and look for the English game. Um, but this is just you know, this game does exist. <laughs> if you're interested and you can speak Japanese and read Japanese, go for it. Wow, this is a really long intro. Recycled footage. Is that a cigarette? <laughs> okay. This is uh, obscenely long. What am I supposed to do here? Oh my goodness. You know, it is really cool how they, you, I wonder if they drew out these pictures or if they had to like map them in 8-bit and uh, draw it out in 8-bit or if they were able to like draw a picture and then have it, have it update to 8-bit. It, it's um, pretty astounding how much work is involved in something like this. Oh boy. So it said European version. I thought it said European version. You know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but this this it seems like the Japanese version. All right, I'm just gonna keep selecting whatever. Can I walk? Okay, so I can walk. Can I? Okay, so it stops me. What is this? Okay, so I just got off the train. 
Do, can I go all the way forward? Let's see. Okay, so it probably wants me to go to the left. Um, oh, this is one of those puzzle games. This is going to be... Okay. This is going to be next to impossible if I can't read what it wants me to do. It is kind of cool, though, for 8-bit. Like, this is some advanced mobility. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I went back in the train. What is he doing? I can read that. The guy's like dot dot dot. Oh man. I really like the character designs. Okay, so I am gonna walk into the building. Can I? It's not letting me. Interesting. Okay. Can I talk to this guy? Yeah, okay. So let's talk, dude. Okay, so he took me. So you can actually get through this game it's pretty linear. I just wish I knew what they were saying. And the imagery is really cool. Let's see, so I can't go forward. Um, I want to talk to this lady. It's really touchy too. Okay, it's not letting me get around the table. <laughs> I should send this to AVGN. You get to the table. Yeah, that's right. My daughter's like, you can't get around the table. Oh, there we go. So he's walking around the table. Yeah, all right. Oh, okay, so it's all like selection based. So you could probably get through this game just by clicking selections. Okay. Well,. I'll give it a few more, I'll give it another minute here, and then, um, okay. So she's telling me something. If it's like a mystery murder game, um, we can all forget about it, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... Dude, this, this would be really addicting in English. Okay, so what do I do now? Okay, so she told me everything. Do I have to go through every selection? I wonder. Okay, you get directly in front. Okay, so maybe I can walk away. No? And then. Okay, so here I'm stuck. I have to get the right selection with her. She doesn't let me. Okay, so she doesn't let. Let's see. I'm gonna try number two. Yeah, you have to. Either you choose the right selection or you're stuck. Okay. All right. So this is a good stopping point. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, pretty compelling game. I'm gonna try to find it in English and then I'll make another video. But thanks. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, I'll find some more exotic games. I'm trying to find stuff I haven't played before. And then if I really, really like it as in a lot of nostalgia, I'll, I'll replay, you know, stuff I used to play when I was a kid. Um, but anyway, thanks, everybody.